welcome. All right, so this is a good problem because what I see in this automatically, you know, we need to solve for x and y. And when I automatically look at this, I see, oh, x and y, those form a linear pair, right? That forms at the intersection two lines. They form a linear pair. They make a line. That means they're supplementary. They add up to 180. But the problem is, when I set up an equation, x plus 12 plus y equals 180 because that is a linear pair. The problem is I only have one equation and I have two variables. So I'm not going to be able to solve for x and y. Um, I need to only have one variable and one equation. So I need to find the values of one of these variables before I can use that equation. So I see I have this 116 over here. And I see, all right, well, what relationships can I draw um, with the 116 with these two other angles? And again, we have parallel lines and we have a transversal. So I notice that these two lines are alternating, right? This is on the right side, this is on the left side of the transversal, but one's interior and one's exterior. And we don't have anything for alternate um, interior exterior angles. We do have one, though, when one's interior, one's exterior, when they're in the same exact position of the intersection of the transversal and the uh, parallel lines. And those are what we call corresponding angles. You can see that these are both in the bottom left-hand corner of your parallel lines and the transversal, or the intersection of the parallel line and the transversal. So they're corresponding angles. And remember, corresponding angles are equal in measure. So therefore, if this is 116, I can say this is 116. So now, since I know y is equal to 116, I can plug that value into here. So I can say x plus 12 plus 116 degrees equals 180 degrees. I guess I could add some degrees here. Then I can combine these two terms. So I can say x, since these are both numbers, x plus 128 equals 180 degrees. Now, to solve for x, I subtract 128. Why 5 came in there? I don't know. I subtract 128, and I get x equals 52 degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve x and y by using our angle relationships. Thanks.